Gonna find myself some fun I'm going downtown Come on each and every one We're going downtown 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 tonight Focusing on supporting businesses that exist here first. Why is it so important that we as Santa Cruz community members buy local at Santa Cruz markets? These are local businesses that um, have an opportunity to set up without too many barriers. And um, when you spend your money here, you're, you're directly impacting them. The barrier would be size. I talked to a lot of these growers <clears throat> who are kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. and they do wholesale and they do direct sales through farmers markets or through restaurants or have CSA programs. And over time, they just get so tired of working in the wholesale market because it's so hyper competitive. And they're going up against big farms. South America, China is now a player. Mm -hmm. Of course, Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know, places where environmental. Uh, regulations are a lot lighter mm -hmm. or don't exist at all. Uh, yeah. So within our farmer's market, we really pride ourselves on supporting high quality local growers. If you, if you deprioritize local infrastructure, then you'll lose local infrastructure. That's it. It's a simple equation. I'm Kyle McKinley, a uh, uh, long-term Santa Cruz resident. I um, uh, work currently for UC Santa Cruz as well as uh, as well as the Santa Cruz Farmers Market Association and uh, Bicycle Church and a few other places. What else can we do? I think that, um, you know, that, that starting from sh shopping locally, shopping at farmers markets, um, talking to talking to people who are who are, who are you know who work directly for the farm and deal, you know learning about the um, about the labor practices the and the growing practices the uh, you know the ecological practices of those farms um. My name is Caleb Barron and I'm uh, me and my two friends are uh, we are Fogline Farm Fogline Farm are a small uh, multi-diverse, sustainable organic farm located five miles from downtown Santa Cruz. And uh, my passion is bringing sustainable meat to the community. And uh, we raise our chickens and pigs under the orchards and through the vineyards on pasture. And my partner Jeffrey's passion is peppers. And uh, we're all kind of city kids who moved to this area. We were all apprentices at the ECSE CASAS program. And uh, we're just, we just, our passion is bringing good food to people, local, sustainable, creating a local economy, um, hiring local and keeping it all local. And um, we try to do everything on farm. It's hard work, but it's fun. Our biggest problem is um, regulations that uh, the big, the big uh, fellas in the Central Valley keep us little men down, and uh, just being able to slaughter on farm and bring to the market is not legit. And uh, even though federally it is, so that's a big, um, big obstacle. Systems not perfect for us to um, bring to market, and it's it's hard to find to get our food to your plate. It's hard, you know. We through our CSA, we hope to be able to move most of our product. And, um, that's been a. It's hard to find members because it's hard to find people who can throw down, you know, six to eight hundred bucks at, in the beginning of the year. But that's really the only way we're going to survive is, uh, you know, getting support from the community in order to continue throughout the whole season. Would you say that's the biggest thing that us as a community can do is join a CSA or? I think so. I mean, coming down to the farmers market is great, I and mean, a lot of our sales are there. But the point of a CSA is to pay up front like January, February and then we can actually pay ourselves in January, February. Like we, we got our first paycheck in a year and a half this week so that was exciting. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can just make it. Cool. 
Good food. How about the music? Yeah, the music is <laughs> Say, oh, me, I'm nothing. 